Bob was sitting on the front porch one day when I went out to get the mail. I said, hello, who are you? Where did you come from and do you have a home? Bob, a cat a few meows, was short on answers. He didn't seem afraid of me and I couldn't see a collar. We thought maybe he was just passing through or was a neighbor's cat. It wasn't too long before Bob found his way to the back deck and introduced himself to our cats. Bob and Eddie take naps in the afternoon. Eddie stretches out inside the glass sliding door and Bob stretches out outside the door. We began feeding Bob, of course. One day I heard Paul say, Alexa, read notifications. Alexa announced, your thermal self-heating cat mat will deliver today. I looked up at Paul standing in the doorway asking, a thermal self-heating cat mat? I kept typing and said, oh, that might be for Bob. Paul sighed and said, okay. I thought, just wait a couple days when he asks Alexa to read notifications and she says, your double insulated outdoor cat house will deliver today. Bob already had a homemade crate with straw, but since he decided to stay around, he got an upgrade. He also went from a paper plate to a more suitable small ceramic dish for his meals. And then Bob was scooped up and off for a vet clinic visit. Upon returning from the vet, Bob retired to an indoor life with us. I wanted to share with you nine little things we love about Bob that makes Bob, Bob. Look at that handsome little face. How could you not love him? Bob was a bit beat up when he found us and he has some scar tissue on his little nose and beside his right eye. All wounds have healed and they just add to his charming character. Bob's ears are like velvet. I can't resist rubbing his ears many times throughout each day. Bob seems to like it too because he keeps nudging up against my hand asking for more rubs. Because Bob was living in the wild before he adopted us, his paw pads were really rough from all the miles he ran on the mean streets. Now after indoor pampering, his little paw pads are softening up. The inside life seems to agree with Bob. Bob makes an interesting sound when he wants something. The best way I can describe it is similar to the low rumble elephants make. He is the first cat we have shared our home with that rumbles and it is adorable. When we pet Bob, we often give him some scritches at the base of his tail. He has the cutest little nugget tail. When we pet his tail, he raises his head up, looks at us beaming with pride. He knows we love his little Bob tail. We might call him Nugget from time to time. Paul and I both started singing the Nugget song to him at mealtimes. Here is Paul singing while serving Bob his meal. We were worried at first that Bob might not be patient or exercise restraint when he got tired of any of Annie and Eddie's playful shenanigans, but there was no need to worry. Bob plays right along and when he thinks he might be getting too rough, he just sits down, lowers his head, and waits for them to stop. He's really a very sweet boy. Two of our wall hangings have a wooden dowel rod inside the bottom seam as a weight to keep them hanging straight. Bob figured out that if he lifts the wall hanging away from the wall and then lets go, the wooden dowel makes a knocking sound. This works to wake us up for breakfast. He is the first cat to deploy this tactic. It works. Unfortunately, Bob would not cooperate with this video recording. When we hold Bob, he hugs us like a clip-on koala. He hangs onto our shoulder and rests his head on our chest. It really melts our hearts. Bob is still just a little food aggressive. He now eats in the kitchen with Annie and Eddie, but we have to keep an eye on him as he always finishes first. Annie's a slow eater and Bob tries to get Annie to abandon her meal if we don't keep an eye on him. He doesn't use force, just a bit of a nudge and that is enough for Annie to walk away. The other day when I wasn't looking, Bob snagged a piece of asparagus off my plate. Sometimes he enjoys the sunroom while Paul and I are dining. Of course, as with our other cats, there are many other things we love about Bob. He is good company and often sits to the right of my keyboard while I'm working. He is very patient when we trim his nails and clean his ears. I like to hug him and sometimes call him Bear Cub. We are lucky Bob found us and asked to become part of our family. I hope this helped you get to know Bob a little better. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what little things you love about your cats. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video.